Lionel Messi, football's GOAT, has just now won his seventh Ballon d'Or of his career, a new record after the one he just broke before his last one was six. The GOAT now has seven. But this year's Ballon d'Or is a little bit different because I feel, and I'm sure others feel, that Lionel Messi did not deserve this Ballon d'Or. But before we go into a dive on why I think Another person should have won the Ballon d'Or instead of Lionel Messi. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn bell notifications on. I upload football content, Man City content, transfer content. If you want to get those notifications when I upload, make sure you hit that subscribe button with the bell notification on, as I said before. And make sure you drop a like. It helps with the algorithm. Now we're going to look into why Messi won this Ballon d'Or, even though he didn't deserve it, in my opinion. An international trophy is something that has haunted Messi his whole career. Up until last year, he made a World Cup final in 2014, but fell short to Germany. And now he made a Copa America final against Brazil. And he got his team over the line in a penalty shootout challenge in the semifinals against Colombia. That put them through to the final and they won 1-0 against Brazil, Neymar's Brazil. And he looked so happy when he was lifting that trophy. It was well-deserved. You know, Argentina have been fighting for international trophies for many years now. and. If you're going to be known as the greatest of all time, you've got to have some sort of international trophy in your resume. And he got it over the line last year, the Copa America, beating Brazil 1-0. Now, at his time at Barcelona, before he left to Paris Saint-Germain, as we all know, he's got the 30 jersey, lost his 10 jersey. But in that final season in Barcelona, he was the leading goal scorer and assist for the club in La Liga. And I'm pretty sure in Europe, if I'm not uh, incorrect on that one. He done everything he possibly could to make that Barcelona team challenge for a title and challenge really far deep into that Champions League because he wanted to win one more Champions League before he left uh, the Catalonian club. But just because you are Lionel Messi, football's goat, that doesn't give you a right to win the Ballon d'Or every single year. And I'm going to give you my person that I think deserved to win the Ballon d'Or. And I'm pretty sure everyone who is watching this video thinks should have won the Ballon d'Or. And I'm going to let you know why I think this person definitely head and shoulders above everyone on that list deserved to win the Ballon d'Or. Now, this person should have won it last year. He got robbed. French football decided not to use the Ballon d'Or awards ceremony last year, even though everyone played a full season of football in Europe's top five leagues. And I thought that that was so disrespectful to this person. He worked his ass off, broke records, won multiple trophies last year. And he just got robbed at the final hurdle after that decision. I think it was played out so they could give Messi this Ballon d'Or so they get more clicks, more headlines, more interactions about uh, the ceremony and have more people watch it to see if Messi was actually going to rob this person of the Ballon d'Or, which he did this year. This person got the treble last year in the Bundesliga for Bayern Munich. He won the league, the domestic trophy in Germany, and also won the Champions League against a star-studded multi-billion dollar team in PSG. This guy broke Erd Müller's record that has stood for many years in the Bundesliga, scoring 41 goals in 29 league appearances in the Bundesliga. This guy has been the highest goal scorer in top five Europe leagues for the last two years. Last two years. Scoring more than Messi. Scoring more than Ronaldo. Scoring more than Mbappe. Neymar. Haaland. All these players that you say are one of the best goal scorers in the world right now. This guy has beaten them for multiple years. Especially in the last two years, which I said before, he should have won the Ballon d'Or. Since the start of this season, this guy is on top of his league once again in the Bundesliga, going for his 11th title in a row for Bayern Munich. He has scored 14 goals in 13 league appearances. He is at the top of the Champions League goal scoring uh, tally at the moment with nine goals and now has qualified for the knockout stages of the Champions League with his team Bayern Munich topping his group and they don't look like they're slowing down anytime soon, especially when this guy is up the front leading the line. Now, if you didn't know who I was talking about then, I'm going to say it right now because you're living under a rock. Robert Lewandowski deserved not his first Ballon d'Or this year, but his second. He deserved to win back-to-back -back Ballon d'Ors. This guy got robbed two years in a row. And if you watch the Ballon d'Or ceremony and watch Messi's speech, he admitted it himself. He said, I deserve 
not to win this this year. Robert Lewandowski deserved it last year, and I feel like he deserved the award this year. And to get the GOAT to look at you face-to-face while he's up there with a seventh Ballon d'Or in his hand, saying his speech, his congratulations to his club, everyone who's been around him, and to soak up all the limelight and say to everyone in the world and everyone in that ceremony that Robert Lewandowski deserved to win last year and deserved to win this year. I think we all agree that this Ballon d'Or ceremony 2021 was an absolute daylight robbery. Now, I've got nothing against this. I am a Ronaldo fan myself. I think Ronaldo is my GOAT, but I can admit that Messi is the GOAT of football. I do congratulate him. Seven Ballon d'Ors, it's never, ever going to be done. No one's ever going to get five Ballon d'Ors like Ronaldo has. No one's going to get seven. And you've got to say congratulations to the longevity of his career, being able to push uh, everyone around him competing to try and be the best for multiple years, nearly two decades of dominance by Messi, uh, you know, leading in assists and goals in his teams, in his leagues, in knockout competitions, winning multiple Champions Leagues, winning international trophies, La Ligas, and now he's going for a league win trophy with PSG. And he hasn't got off to the best start this year, but we all know it's Messi and he really shines in European competition. So he's going to have an amazing uh, sort of run in those competitions. He's got the back of three assists last game against St. Etienne. So he's starting to find his form. But Robert Lewandowski, I feel so bad for this guy. He has gone through a massive transformation. He's aging like a fine wine. The older he gets, the wiser and more intelligent he gets on the football pitch. The more goals he scores, the more trophies he wins. And that's only you can say comparison to Cristiano Ronaldo, the older he's got, the more goals and continuation of goals he's been putting on the table and winning titles in Syria. Um, and even though he hasn't won last year or this year any trophies, he's still won trophies. So, you know, Lewandowski has gone through a massive body transformation as well. He is looking younger. He looks more fit, stronger, bulkier, more muscle mass, less fat, more lean. He's looking so quick, much more quicker than he has been uh, in past years. And that's credit to Bayern Munich's training and their head of you know diet or whatever they call nutrition, that sort of stuff. And I just can't believe I watched the ceremony and I looked at them. They got to the final two and Messi and Lewandowski looked at each other and I would have expected Messi to go, congratulations, mate, you deserve it this year. And then Didier Drogba reads out that name, Lionel Messi with his seventh Ballon d'Or. And me and I'm sure most of football fans that watch were shocked because just because you're the GOAT doesn't give you the right to win the Ballon d'Or every single year, especially when there's people more deserving of it. You know, you can compare this. Say you're working in a job for 15 years and you're casual and then someone else in your job who isn't as hard as working as you but they're more friends with the boss. They know the boss more on a, a personal level. They show up to the same amount of shifts as you do every week, but you work harder. You've been there for longer. You've got the longevity on them, and they just give them the full-time job, and they're on more money than you, and they've been there for a fifth of the year you have at that company. That's what it's like in this Ballon d'Or. Uh, Lewandowski has got more numbers, more trophies. He has, I reckon, played better aging more even though Messi is two years older than him he's still playing better than Messi has aging in the last couple years and you can't look past the treble and straight um, Bundesliga win breaking that record 41 goals in 29 appearances getting that final goal on the final day Mr. Clutch himself Lewandowski for a penalty and he's just such a respectful guy he took the loss very well um you could tell on his face that he was devastated, all that hard work. But there's always next year. And I'm telling you something. If Robert Lewandowski doesn't win the Ballon d'Or for 2022, I will be fucking disgusted in French football's decision to name whoever wins the next. Unless someone wins every trophy possible and is in the top three assists and goals for their team in Europe, then I don't want Robert Lewandowski not to get that Ballon d'Or. He deserves one before he retires. You never know. Robert Lewandowski could get a career-ending injury this year and never win it ever again. So, Robert Lewandowski, I feel so sorry for you. Congratulations to Leo Messi. He is the GOAT. Um, Undoubtedly, seven Ballon d'Ors. That is literally insane. Like That is impossible to ever, ever get again. But 
that being said to end this video make sure you hit that subscribe button subscribe if you're new or you haven't subscribed already and you've been watching my videos hit those notification bells on and i'll be bringing you more football content i'll see you in the next one